Hi everyone, welcome back to the Low Res Ramble. It's our last episode of 2023. A lot has changed and I'm getting ready to take this for mapping. So I suppose I better sit down, explain to you what's going on, what I've done to this, and let's look forward to January 5th. <laughs> So first of all, you might have seen, I'm in a different workshop. So the race car has got a new home. I've had several changes over the past six months in my personal life. I've moved house, um, moved to a different area, uh, and, and made a few personal changes. So that means that very kindly, I've, I'm renting a space off our good friends at Royal Motorsport. Um, so we've got, you know, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I won't disclose where it is. Um, but you know, it's a nice little area, and obviously they, they keep some of the cars stored here, um, tucked up out of the way, so. Anyway, this is the SD170 Focus, you guys would have known and love, and the last time I checked in you was kind of an EcoBoost update, and I was getting everything ready for the EcoBoost conversion. So the engine is fitted, the gearbox is in, everything's ready to go in this for mapping on the 5th of January. I'm going up to TRS Performance, just the other side of Warwick, to see uh, a friend introduced via AJ Howe, Peter Trander, who runs TRS Performance. He said, don't go anywhere else, just go and see him. So I'm really looking forward to getting this up to TRS to see what it can do. And alternatively, I've also got some other news, EBC Brakes. They've stayed on board with us this year. I'm really, well, for 2024, I'm really happy about that. It's been a good relationship that um, the guys down there have developed since I was with uh, Club Racing UK. Um, and I carried on with that relationship once uh, when I left Club Racing UK. And they've been very good to me. They've supplied all the right parts. The races that I could do last year was done with the EBC brakes fitted to this car. And it's a fantastic setup to have. So uh, long may that relationship continue. But let's have a look in the engine bay. I'll show you some bits that I've done there. So you would have seen on the front, we've got our new homemade crash bar fitted and that's got the big AirTech Mondeo intercooler on the front. So that's nice and big. All the pipes leading up to it, I've just got to jig and make sure there's no kinks in it anymore. Otherwise, uh, Robin at Raw Motorsport will absolutely kick my backside. And speaking of Robin, uh, before we go in the engine bay, actually, there's something else I want to show you on this car. So as you'd have heard there, this is the side exit exhaust I now have fitted to the car, made by Raw Motorsport. Now this actual tip, the outlet of this, was made by Greg Rose, who I work with at Silver Lake. He's raced Thunder Saloons, two-time Rallycross champion. Fantastic bit of kit, and he's uh, quite the handyman. Now I went and saw Robin, I took the car to him while I was in the middle of house moving, everything like that, and I said to him, I said, look, I want a nice side exit exhaust. Just something really nice, quite small, that's all I really want for it. And he pulled this off the shelf and was like, let's get this fitted. Greg had made it for Robin to have on one of his cars and, and Robin just didn't have a use for it at the moment. So with Greg's permission, he put it onto my car. And uh, as you can hear, it sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'm looking forward to having this motor around. Everyone's concerned about the noise. I'll be honest, there is a bit of exhaust noise, but it's a turbo car. It's got a silencer in the middle as well. I think once it's warmed up and actually out on circuit, it will be okay. Um, if we do have any noise issues at the Snetterton test, which I'll tell you about in a minute, then you know we've got time to sort it before the season starts. Just because I can. Um, do you want another sound of that exhaust? Do you want me to start it up again? Thought you would. <laughs> Back 
catches us up with a few things. Um, I've just got to do some last minute prep bits, make sure that everything's tight on this. I've ran out, I just want to make sure nothing else is leaking before we go to the dyno. Um, so yeah, I guess it's time lapse time. Okay, so the last time you'd have seen this, I'd already shown you the intercooler, but I'll show you again. We've got a nice Forge Motorsport intake on it, silicon pipes, and a nice stainless steel intake, which I've coated to keep the intake temperatures hopefully lower than they are. But the piece de resistance, and before anyone gets in the comments and says about it, yes, I know I've got to wrap this. I've got a turbo blanket and some cool exhaust wrap on the way. This piece of art down here. So this is a Dorenza. Uh, tubular manifold that's to go with the hybrid turbo that's fitted so I'm running a hybrid S242 and uh, I'm really hoping that that is going to be able to do the business for us this year well I say do the business um, the EcoBoost class is going to be quite heavy this year I'll come but I'll come to that in a minute but um, so yes the, this is the EcoBoost class I've just got to finish putting some last clips and bits on there make sure everything's okay to go because obviously Peter's not going to want me rocking up with a car that's half finished. I mean, it is, but that's not the point. So you can see on the downpipe as well, apologies for the lighting being very poor, but down there is a nice downpipe that was modified and fitted by Raw Motorsport to my centre section exhaust that then comes out into a side exit exhaust. So that's very cool. Uh, I've got to get a new breather cap on that top there and get it into a catch cam, but that is the EcoBoost fitted into the race car, ready to go. Hopefully MJA are gonna have some uh, bits for the car towards the end of the year. I'm going to go speak to Andrew and maybe see if we can get a ported head or something on this just to, so that we can almost, it's, it's not so much um, for the extra power as I want to produce the same power but with a bit less boost so we keep the engine nice and reliable. We rely on standard engines really. So, um, you know, the idea is I can still run about 1.5 bar of boost and have 300 brake horsepower. That's the aim. Um, yeah. Fingers crossed. So get in the comments below if you are watching this and just let us know how much power you think this is going to make before the 5th of January. Uh, another thing you were saying is a change to the side livery. So we had the big icon logo on there before down the side. But as you may have seen in previous episodes, we've started a new podcast. I was um, put into it by Paul Harvey and Max Coates. We've come together. We've created the Driving Talk podcast powered by Icon. That started up sort of May last year. We've recorded season one's worth of episodes and we've got good ones in there from the likes of Robin Welsh of War Motorsport. We've got Driven Minds on there. I'm going to be carrying their logos as, as an ambassador for them this year. And we've got a few other logos to go on here as well. Obviously, we're still carrying EBC brakes as well. Um, MJA Race Engines were good to us through the ZTEC build, so we're going to keep them on there as well as a, as, as a show of good faith. And he's going to hopefully get some Go Faster Eco Boost engine bits sorted for us as well. But uh, yeah, a bit of a change to the driving with the Driving Talk podcast logo scheme on the side this year. EBC brakes are going to go on the rear quarter panel as well. They've been a fantastic sponsor for me, as I explained before, uh, for the past couple of years. Now, series, we're still racing in the modified Ford series. We're going to be in the EcoBoost class, which is B+. I say it's the EcoBoost class because we're also up against naturally aspirated Millington and Smith & Jones escorts. Don't know how I feel about that going into this year. We've got some very good drivers in that. David Guthrie won the championship in that class last year at a canter um, in a very well-sorted Fiesta EcoBoost. There's a lot of cars making the EcoBoost change for this year, so there's going to be a lot more in the class fighting for positions. Class B that I used to be in is going to be a bit lower, but you know it's, it's, it's good for the series. It shows growth. The first five rounds are already sold out. I am in the draw for those five rounds. I've paid my deposit and I'm already entered for the first five rounds this year. I'm just gonna flash the calendar up on the screen now. We're going to some fantastic circuits. And the other one you will see for this year is the first trip of a British series to Spain, Circuit de Navarra, which was taken over by Motorsport Vision. They've done the circuit up, so uh, it gives us Brits a chance to go out to sunny northern Spain for a bit of winter racing. How's, how good's that? 
Uh, but definitely looking forward to getting this baby steps first. We've got to get this to TRS, get it mapped, iron out any issues. And then on the 17th of February, we're going to our usual haunt of Snetterton. We're going to go testing, get this uh, to turn some laps and hopefully no issues. Okay, wets are now on as well, so she's good to go. Uh, I'm not gonna travel with the front bumper because while it's being mapped and it's on the dyno, I want to have a good look around it while it's happening. So if we do get any little leaks, just any annoying little things that happen, we can get to it quickly. We don't have to undo because the front bumper on this, don't forget, is integral to the splitter and it all slides on in a certain way and it's um, quite timely. So we're going to TRS 5th of January to get this mapped. We're then going to uh, Snetterton February, Saturday, February the 17th, and this is going to be turning a wheel as an eco powered, uh, eco boost powered Mark 1 Focus for the first time, and I'm so excited, I can't wait. In between testing and doing this, we've got lots of things to do. I've got to fit brake ducts, I've got to fish, finish off the mesh on the front bumper, I've got to make sure that everything that we've kind of uncovered at mapping um, is sorted. And then, to be honest, I've just got to give it a good spanner check over, make sure everything's tight, make sure everything's working as it should and then we should be go for uh, February testings, and then the modified Ford series. I can't wait for this season. But for now, it's a quick update with the low res ramble. I just want to thank everyone uh, that's for watching. Like, don't forget, like and subscribe as well. Don't forget to head to the Driving Talk podcast YouTube page as well. It's not our primary page. We're pr predominantly on Spotify, all the good podcasts as well. So get yourself on there, like and subscribe. And thank you once again to all my supporters, sponsors, EBC Brakes, Silver Lake, Driving Talk Podcast, Icon, MJ Race Engines. You guys have been absolutely mega. And if you are feeling a bit down as well, think of Driven Minds. They're an automotive uh, mental health charity. So if you are feeling a bit down, um, please do get in contact with us and we can hopefully get you towards the help you need. But for now, this is the end of the Low Res Ramble. Uh, last one of 2023. Happy New Year, everyone. And um, yeah, we'll see you next year for some mapping.